Hi, my name is Melinda with Protect Life Michigan, and today we're going to watch a video by Bill Nye called Can We Stop Telling Women What to Do With Their Bodies? I'm going to play a short clip from the first part of the video where he launches right into an interesting argument about what makes a human being a human being, and then we'll talk about it. Many, 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 many more hundreds of eggs are fertilized than become humans. Eggs get fertilized, and by that I mean sperm get accepted by ova a lot. But that's not all you need. You have to attach to the uterine wall, the inside of, the, of a, a womb, a woman's womb. So that was pretty interesting. You guys just heard him say that what you need to create a human being is not just the sperm and the egg. He said that in order to create a human being, the sperm and egg have to meet and that fertilized egg has to implant into the uterus in order for a human being to start existing. Now, we all know from ninth grade biology um, and every other biological piece of information that you've read over your lifetime concludes that what Bill Nye said about what you need for a human life to exist is just misinformation. The only thing that you need for a new human being to be created is the sperm and the egg. So what happens when a sperm and egg meet is they both die and give rise to a brand new organism. This organism is distinct, it has its own DNA, it is living and directing its own growth, and it is whole, a separate entity from the mother. So because of all of those things, we know that there is no implantation required. As soon as you have that zygote, all biologists will classify that as a living, distinct, and whole human being. So now we're going to go to the next clip of this video and listen to what he says about the similarities, as he calls them, between abortion and miscarriage. You're going to say, <clears throat> And when an egg is fertilized, it's therefore all, has the same rights as an individual. Then who are you going to sue? Whom are you going to sue? Whom are you going to imprison? Every woman who's had a fertilized egg pass through her? Every guy whose sperm has fertilized an egg and then it didn't become a human? Have all these people failed you? That was interesting, right? Uh, Bill Nye just said that a miscarriage is essentially the same thing as an abortion and that if we believe that the unborn have human rights, that we should be criminalizing all of the people who have miscarriages happen to them, um, which I think is not only wrong, but quite insensitive. Um, the fact is that miscarriage is a really tragic event that happens usually very naturally. The whole thing that miscarriage is called, it's called a spontaneous abortion, meaning that it was not intentional, it was not elective. This is something that the body naturally went ahead and did. It has nothing to do with the mother's, the father's, or anyone else's intentions. We at Protect Life Michigan encourage people to be against abortion because abortion is the intentional killing of an innocent human life, the unborn. Um, and that isn't to say that we want to criminalize women who have abortions. We know that a lot of women in their situation are pressured to go through with an abortion. They feel like they have no other choice and that people in their lives are not supporting them with their unborn child. And we think this is just really, really sad. And it's sad to hear Bill and I talk about miscarriages um, so flippantly like that. And then he goes on to say in the video that we, because of these facts that he's given us, should just stop telling women what to do with their bodies. And I think that, you know, if he were right and abortion wasn't the killing of an innocent human being, maybe he would be correct in saying that we should stop telling women what to do with their bodies. But we know from biology that abortion is the intentional killing of an innocent human being. And because we know that, we are obligated, it's our moral responsibility to tell people about this and encourage them to make the right choices. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like it if it was helpful to you and comment below what you would say in response to Bill Nye.